Hello everyone, welcome back to another Windows 10 IoT for Raspberry Pi video. Uh, this tutorial, uh, if you didn't watch the one before, it was how to make your actual uh, Raspberry Pi um, uh, image disk, or image file rather, uh, onto your SD card and how to actually write it, as some people were concerned and unsure. Now this video is a quick video, so uh, if you can't, let's say, go to your router really quickly to test this, and maybe your laptop has a Ethernet, obviously if you're a Mac user that's not happening, but most of us Windows users on our laptops or desktops, uh, we still have Ethernet, right? So I have an Ethernet cord hooked up to the back of my computer, it's not a patch cable, it's the regular RJ45 uh, cable. Uh, Ethernet, as you know, or Cat5, Cat6, mine's a Cat6. Irrelevant. Uh, the, the, the very least, it is an Ethernet cable. So, I have it now hooked up to my Raspberry Pi, right? And I have the micro SD card hooked into my Raspberry Pi. Now, here's the thing. I want to use uh, Ethernet because my Raspberry Pi is not recognizing six of the different... Uh, Wi-Fi adapters slash dongles that I have. So what can I do to quickly make sure the Raspberry Pi disk image work properly? Um, well, you can use your Wi-Fi connection um, and your Ethernet connection to um, give it internet. But in this case, uh, just really quickly, how would you combine the two, right? Uh, to, to make things a little simpler for some, you could just plug it right in and it should work. But let's pretend we want to share internet. Now, there's more steps to it, obviously. However, I'm just going to give you the gist of it. Uh, so, first things first, we need to view our network connections. So, I'm going to use Cortana and see if she can figure out what I want. Oh, there we are. View network connections. So, now, technically, all I need to do is go ahead and enable ethernet. And I could technically just hook it up to my Raspberry Pi and be good to go. But I want to share my internet through it. Now, you got to mess with the DHCP and whatnot and assign a static IP, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but what I'm going to do is show you how you can take your Wi-Fi and uh, basically share it with the, your ethernet. So in this case, I'm going to sharing, allow, allow. Um, just for shits and giggles, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, well, it looks like... It was not going to happen. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and bridge these connections together. As you see, uh, a network adapter is being installed, going together. So my Wi-Fi will be shared with my Ethernet. Uh, they're bridged together. Now, I should be able to go back in here. If not, you, what you would do is... Um, Go well, I guess you would have had to share it beforehand, but uh, we'll go ahead and go into here. And as you see, it has it uh, set up good to go. Uh, let's see, connected to the internet, everything looks good. My IP address, blah, blah blah, my local IP address, keep that in mind. As you see, it's sending receiving great, right? So now we need to hook up the ethernet, right? So I'm hooking up the ethernet to my Raspberry Pi. Listen, okay, perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and get the micro uh, USB to plug into the uh, Raspberry Pi. We'll give it a moment, as this will take a moment. So as you see, this should start changing in a few moments. Um, and not only that, our uh, IoT that we should have uh, installed, the Windows IoT Core uh, Watcher, whoops, where did that sucker go, uh, will also pop up when the Raspberry Pi is connected. Um, it'll tell us every little detail about the Raspberry Pi that we need in order to do some basic stuff. So we just wait here. And remember, this is the first time the Raspberry Pi has started with the Windows 10. So this is going to take a moment. Now, if you have uh, HDMI hooked up, you're going to know that this is uh, possibly blinking your screen and whatnot and restarting. As you see, Ethernet uh, enabled, bridged, right? So in a few moments, we should be seeing uh, the Raspberry Pi show up here. And if you look at your Raspberry Pi, the Ethernet should be blinking. Let's hope. And there we go. Check this out. So we see the IP address, blah, 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 right here. It just showed up. Last ping, uh, 519, and it is indeed 519. Uh, this is the one that is active. This one obviously clearly is not. If we go ahead and close this real quick. 
and then go back. As you'll see, it also obtained an IP address on my network, so it can literally access the internet and do internet uh, things. So now I don't have to go downstairs uh, and hook up my Raspberry Pi to the router or anything. So now I literally have it hooked up with uh, its own IP address. It's online, right? So let's go ahead and check it out. And how we'll do that is literally right click. We could copy the Mac, etc., here, uh, but we'll click open web browser here. And as you see, we are connected to it. And let me slide this in here, make the window a little bit smaller so you all can see. And there we are, successful. So we've hooked up the Raspberry Pi and it is connected to our uh, uh, computer here to get internet. Now, in here, you would have your installed app, should you have any, uh, AppX, etc., upload certificates. Here's the processes running on our uh, Raspberry Pi, as you see. Uh, the performance, so you could watch in real time the performance of your Raspberry Pi, how much in and out. Um, and as it is literally accessing the internet, or can rather, um, you're ready to go make this into a web server or anything you really want uh, using your uh, computer uh, Wi-Fi connection. So you are literally uh, have made your Raspberry Pi connect to your computer and your computer taking its Wi-Fi network ad adapter and giving it uh, access to the router. Um, in obtaining its own IP address. So you could literally SSH to it um, if you had SSH service hooked up. Um, yeah, here's the device tree, and then we have the Miracast HID, which is a, a human interface device if you're making something. Um, well, it doesn't matter, we won't go into it. But as you see here, descriptions, uh, the LAN, USB 2.0 to Ethernet 10, 100 adapter. Um, now, Wi-Fi adapter, should you have one, you could hook it up. But at uh, the very least, we're here we are. We know it's gotten onto my network. Here's my DHCP server, gateway, uh, subnet, my IP address, the physical address, which is the MAC address, which in my case, um, if it was wireless, you'd need to know the MAC address because I don't allow anything on my network without it. Um, but other than that, yeah, you're good to go. You could start uh, debugging, uh, start doing stuff here, um, and you're good to go, literally. Um, so yeah, as you see, two little apps in here. You could remove or start them. Um, right now, there is an app running. Uh, my next video, I will show you how to use PowerShell to re uh, set your uh, Raspberry Pi uh, password. Because um, right now it's uh, P, well, doesn't matter what it is, but watch the next video. Uh, or the video before, again, was how to make your uh, Raspberry Pi image file. Anyhow, this is Lance for the Tech Me Show. If you have any more questions, comment uh, down below in the comments or at Lance Seidman on Twitter. That's L A N C E S E I D M A N. And again, that's on Twitter. Anyhow, that's uh, another video for the Microsoft Windows 10 IoT uh, Raspberry Pi related video. Thank you so much.